This tutorial is an excerpt from our new Herrick Families course for Revit, which includes hundreds of tips to develop strong, powerful families your teammates will love using. Enroll in the course at bimpure.com. In this video tutorial, you're going to learn how to add a rotation parameter to any existing Revit family. In this example, we have a table, regular table family. We've modified it to add an angle parameter, which you can modify just like this. In this example, we're going to use this floor system family. This is a wood structure where if you modify the dimensions, the size and position of the joist is automatically updated. So let's modify this family so we're able to add an angle to the system. First, we're going to uncheck always vertical here and check work plane based. Secondly, we're going to create a new family. You can use the generic model family template. I'm going to go to the left side elevation and select the reference line tool and draw a reference line starting from this intersection. Then I am using the align tool and clicking on the end point of the line. Now I can create an angular dimension so like this and link the reference line to this reference plane. Select this uh, angle label, click here to create a new parameter. Simply call it something like A for the angle. Try to modify the angle itself. And now I'm going to load this floor system family into the new family we've just created. I'm going to go to a 3D view. Uh, this one, I can rotate around, select the line. Okay, and I can see the angle of this line. I'm going to go to the project browser, select structural framing, and I can drag and drop from the project browser to the 3D view. I'm going to select place on the work plane. In the placement plane, I'm going to select pick, pick a plane, then place my cursor above the reference line and press tab. You can see multiple um, work plane that I can select from this reference plane. In this case, this is the correct one. You can see what happened. I can press spacebar to rotate the family and I will place it at this end point. If I go to the left side elevation, you can see the family has been placed. And if I play with the angle parameters, this family is rotated. So I can simply load this new family into the project and we're going to place this family. And you can see now that if I go to the type properties of this family, I can also adjust the angle. You can use this trick on any kind of Revit family that is non-hosted. So not face-based or not wall-hosted or ceiling-hosted, for example. Any kind of non-hosted family, you can nest it as a work plane based family and place it on the work plane of a reference line to modify the angle. If you have enjoyed this video, you will love our new Herrick Families course for Revit. It includes intermediate to advanced strategies to create powerful families. All lessons are available in both video and ebook PDF format. In addition, you get access to our Revit Mega Simple file and to challenges to test what you've learned. Enroll now at bimpure.com.